What's going on YouTube? We're starting out today's vlog in the car once again, but basically I was supposed to go to LAX today to pick up my mom and then I hit up Tala because I was a little early so I decided to pull up on her house. She says she's making some pizza or something so I think we're going to film a little mukbang, get a little apartment tour so yeah, y'all could look forward to that and I'll see y'all when we get there. Alright guys, I pulled up to Sala's place right now. Let's see if she's here. Hello! <laughs> Good to see you! Good to see you! Wow! This place is actually so beautiful. Yeah, it's not it's, it's not fully decorated yet. It's okay. Like, it's gonna happen, but uh -huh. that's like a natural. Dude, yeah, it looks really nice. The couch is comfy. Can I show them your streaming setup? Yeah, I've I'll never seen this. Alright, I wanna show her streaming setup. <laughs> wow, bro, I wanna stream so bad. <laughs> You should do it again. I know, I should. So we got Tala making us some drinks instead because there's no pizza. <laughs> she said, come with the empty stomach. And I came to drink this right here. <laughs> I'm gonna treat my guests well. <laughs> what is this for like American people, dude? This is like yuzu tea. Oh, yuzu yeah, tea. Yeah, yuzu tea. Do you want it hot or cold? Uh, what do you get? I do hot, but I can I can make it cold for you. Okay, yeah. It's okay. hot in here. It right? is, it is. Alright guys, um finally we have Tala here. Like I said, um I pulled up on her. We're about to film a quick little QA. <laughs> no mukbang, no mukbang. Not uh, just yet. Yeah, not just yet. Maybe later, uh halfway through, but I'm gonna start with asking you questions that uh, my subscribers ask. Okay. Yeah, so uh you ready? You're good? I'm so nervous for this. <laughs> no, like, what no, kind no. of question did you guys ask? <laughs> Okay, well the first question is from mm -hmm. someone that I know you're a fan of, Loki. It's from Lo. <gasps> no way! Yeah, so shout out to Lo for asking a question. <laughs> I'm such a big, big, big fan of yours. Really? Yeah, I like watch all his videos. No way. I watch all his videos and like try to study how he color grades, how oh, he edits. Oh, really good. Really it's talented. It's so like piece of art. I'm not gonna lie, he's a big uh, 9 for 9 fan. I know, <laughs> I know, I'm honored. <laughs> no, but a shout out to Lo, but he basically wanted to ask you. If you could restart as a creator and choose your niche or your niche again, what would it be? Wow, what a great question. Great question, yeah. Ooh, so I'm actually reconsidering um, shifting my content right now. So to what? To what? So right now I'm beauty, lifestyle, right. skincare, mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna start a new channel. Oh, what? Like from a scratch. Instagram or channel, YouTube channel? Everything. Okay. Starting from zero followers. Uh -huh. um, it's gonna be about neuroscience brain content. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You're, you want to lean into like the more educational. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm learning like, I don't know. I just want to provide value and I just want right. to teach people and show you the beauty of the brain and art. So specifically, it'll be about how art impacts the brain. How art impacts the brain. Yeah. Damn, how do you even show that through content though? So, I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, I mean, there's not too many people who do that, I feel like. Yeah. So it's definitely a, a opening for you to take over. Yeah, it's my <laughs> motto uh -huh. is make neuroscience sexy. Oh, okay, okay. I think you could do it. I think you could be the face of that. <laughs> so yeah, for sure. So we'll, we'll have fun. Okay, well, yeah. moving on to the next question that someone mm -hmm. asked. They said, what is one unique thing that you noticed that me and you have that's like a similarity between us since Ooh. joining the pod? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, these are kind of fire. Those, those are great questions. They're great questions. <laughs> okay. But I could start. Okay, I, yeah, yeah. I I'm noticed here. that me and you have a lot of similar takes on the pod. Yes. And I think it's me and you are very open to uh, <laughs> many ideas. Like, yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. like, too, we don't shut off anything. So yeah. uh, I think that's one thing. And I think in general, you're a very nice person. Mm. And are you I, saying you're nice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd say I'm a nice guy. I'd say I'm a nice guy. But yeah, I think we're both very nice and like we're very mm. open to things. So that's one thing I noticed. Yeah. I think like, okay, to be honest, I mm -hmm. think Paul, like you're very, um, uh. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're actually very mature for your, how old are you? 24. I feel like you're very mature for your age. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I, I used to not be. I know, I, I know, I heard. <laughs> uh -huh. But I just think you have like very, like, I don't know, you're very eloquent sometimes. Like you, you're able to like voice your thoughts. And like I love that you said that you're like in the past podcast episode, right. you were like, oh, I'm like a good balance of both masculine and feminine. Yes, we did talk about that. <laughs> we did talk about that. I agree though. No? I agree. Yeah. And I think for me too, I feel like I have some masculine qualities you do. and feminine qualities. I do? No, I mean like like like, like uh, you understand both sides <laughs> yeah, really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a great compliment from you. Yeah. I also think style wise. Uh-huh. 
I kind of vibe with your style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Your style's drippy too. I can't <laughs> lie. I can't lie. That literally leads me to the next question. Okay. Even though we've asked this on the pod, but someone mm -hmm. wanted to know how much does a guy's sense of fashion like factor into how attractive you think he is? Oh, that's a question? Yeah, that's, that's wow. what someone asked. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, okay. For you, not that much. You not said, right? that much. Right, right, right. To be honest, <clears throat> like I feel like the guys that I've dated, mm -hmm. they weren't quite my physical, <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> my physical uh -huh. type. Okay. You know, but yeah. I think it's like how like their personality mattered a lot more for me. Do you think honest. you were always like a personality type of girl, or yeah, kind of, or since the I beginning? was, yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, I just feel like style. Mm -hmm. It always changes. Right, it does. You know what I mean? It does. So it does. I feel like as long as they know, like, uh, I don't know. Like what they like? What or they like, yeah. Uh -huh. it, does, it doesn't have to be trendy or it doesn't have right. to be, you know, street or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. they like, I'll learn to like. Wow. I you know, know there's not a lot of girls <laughs> like that, though, right? I, mean, I, I don't know. Dude, there's not. Like in LA, especially, I feel oh, like yeah, I it's all looks and like being yeah, the coolest guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it a little hot? No, <laughs> I'm like in my own house, like I'm sweating. <laughs> Dude, for real. Right? But okay, the next question from one of the subscribers is they want to know what you were like in high school. Oh, bro, I had such a glow up. <laughs> like, it's crazy because uh -huh. all my high school homies are probably like thinking like, Dude, who the hell is this girl now? Is that different? I mean, it's not that different, uh -huh. but... Okay, this is like a tiny little secret. Okay, okay. Oh, I, <laughs> we love the secrets on the Polly channel, okay? Big secret? Yeah, I feel like I can expose it here. Right, right, right. But this might sound kind of um, arrogant, mm -hmm. but I'm saying it in the most humble way and I still don't understand. Okay. But there was like a small fan club what? of me when, in, when I was in high school. No. But I think it started as like a meme or as like a guy's joke or something. Right. But then... So my full name is Sarah Lee Choi. Okay. And so they called the fan club like the SLC club. No fucking way. <laughs> so okay, would you say that you were per like a kind of pretty popular girl then? No, that's the thing. I you know when Meg, so Megan in the podcast said that mm -hmm. she didn't know she was like Yeah, yeah, she didn't know she, she was didn't pretty. know pretty when she yeah. was I think I kind of fall into that camp of like I thought I was just a fucking just nobody normal, yeah. normal. <laughs> uh -huh. um but then and then i learned later that there was like a fan club and i was like what like oh, i didn't know that that existed yeah. so i think in my mind i was just like doing my own thing uh -huh. you know trying to get them a's and make my parents proud <laughs> but well, there's like a yeah. second part of the question they wanted to know okay. though because i actually thought you were gonna say the opposite i thought you were gonna say like oh, i was nerdy and like people <laughs> didn't like fuck with me but okay you had a whole fan club which i didn't know about <laughs> Right, right, right. Know about. Well, did that impact you being an influencer, like a model mm -hmm. with your career? I mean, if you're used to having fans, then it must have kind of. <laughs> I mean, shit. But I think, I think I I did change in high school to now mm -hmm. in terms of like understanding my style, like uh, like knowing the angle, right. like knowing how to do my makeup. Right. But. I think personality, I'm the same. Personality, you're the same. Yeah, I'm the same. This is real quick. Do you have a good side and a bad side? I do. This what is, is my the good side. Oh, the oh <laughs> okay, I okay. Here. <laughs> Wait, on the pod, yeah. you're. On the pod is yeah, my worst side. Oh, I know. Oh, shit. I know, but I, I can't take that away from oh. me. Because Megan, that side is her good side. She has been standing there for a while. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Um, There's one last. Oh, actually, there's two last questions. Wait, I have a question. Okay, yeah, you did can ask me Were you popular in high school? Uh, I was, I was decent, I was decent <laughs> shit. I was like the guy in high school that uh, I could go to all the groups. Oh, yeah. you're like the social butterfly. Right, because you know if you play sports, like everyone kind of knows you. So it's like, oh, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I was like that guy. But then I transferred schools uh, multiple oh, times. Shit. So after I transferred, I didn't have too many friends. It was just like the uh, the baseball team and shit mm. like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. That's whatever. <laughs> Okay, this next question I really like. And okay. it, was, it was to both of us, but okay. I want you to answer first. They asked, how are you always in a good mood? When they watch the mm. pod, you smile a lot and they say you have a great smile. <laughs> so they wanted to know like, how are you always so happy? How are you always in a good mood? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I could go question. first if yeah, you need some time. First. Okay, so first I wanted to say to address this that I don't think we're happy all the time. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. I point. think it's that like we put on a smile and we just try to be as optimistic as we can with yeah. many like situations. Yeah. But I think for me personally, it's more of like a 
if I try to be happy, uh. I will be happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather yeah, smile yeah, yeah. than be sad all the time or angry all the time. So that's my explanation. But genuinely, uh. we're not happy all the time. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. I'm definitely in my bag. Like, so like even on the drive back from night for night yeah. sometimes, like yeah. sometimes I'm like, I get like sad. I'm like listening to like sad songs on the right. way. Why? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. That's not just life. You know, life is yeah. not easy. But I think, but I do think, I genuinely think I am a happy person. Yeah, same, same, same. And I think it's because, like, honestly, the sun. The sun? <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean? Like, you're in the sun a lot? Yeah, I'm in the sun a lot. Like, uh -huh. in the morning, I try to get in a run, right. I try to be outside, and I feel like that just, just does something to my, my head and my yeah. brain that, like, it just, gets me going <laughs> it does know? i think there's some yeah, scientific get the sun, proof yeah touch grass definitely you know? <laughs> definitely wait what is like the true meaning of happiness to you then mm. oh good great questions wow this is like such a good <laughs> hey good man thing. hey man i'm prepared i'm prepared Shit. <laughs> i think happiness for uh, me uh -huh. is truly being present in the moment in the moment okay like i feel like we're so caught up in like the future and like you know, I mean, mm -hmm. obviously that's all important, like mm -hmm. your career, your money, partner, everything is important. But I think happiness, you can just find that in just being present and knowing that whatever in life mm -hmm. will happen, will happen. Oh, you know? I really like that meaning. You know? Like, yeah. It's not about how much money I'll make or how who I'm going to be dating. It's like, okay, like I already have so much in my life that uh -huh. I can be thankful for. Right. And I can just continue putting out the good jujus uh -huh. and whatever's mine will be mine wow wait that's such a good like explanation because yeah. i was literally about to say like for me my true happiness is like thinking about the future and like mm. just being able to like live a life that i want essentially mm -hmm. like a buy whatever do whatever right. and like obviously still work hard right but you're so true in the or you're so right in the fact that like you should definitely enjoy the moment yeah this is life right like right now is mm -hmm. life you know yeah and like the like the more you get i feel like the more you'll want like it's a never-ending goal post that true moves. it always moves it yeah. always moves so like why am i stressing when the life is right now. Wow. You know? Love that. Love that. Hey, everyone, <laughs> listen up to carefully. Take some notes down. <laughs> Professor Salah's in the chat. <laughs> but okay, we got one last question from the fans yeah. before we move on to my mm -hmm. questions. The last question is obviously, Scott's a trainer, right? <laughs> yeah. He trains girls as well. Uh -huh. So they wanted to ask is it ever hard if he like trains a baddie <laughs> to not be jealous or something like that? <laughs> That's so funny because uh -huh. I actually told Scott about this. I was like, Scott, like, I don't know how I feel about you because, like, what if, like, a super cute girl yeah. comes into your program and they have to take progress pictures oh. every week. Uh -huh. But it's like, how they have to wear, like, a bra oh, like and show underwear their ass and, and show their ass uh -huh. and everything, you know? Right. And then he was like, <laughs> he was like, Sarah, uh -huh. baddies don't sign up for fitness programs. <laughs> He oh. said the people I get uh -huh. are the people who need work. Oh. You know? So there's no need to worry for you. He said no need to worry. Oh, okay. But um, I think I'm also learning like I think the biggest thing that saves me and Scott a lot of trouble mm -hmm. in terms of jealousy and insecurity mm -hmm. is really building our confidence. Within yourself. Within myself. Right. That no matter how cute the person is, yeah, yeah. I'll get jealous, but like shit. I'm, I'm still I'm, I'm still good. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. So I think that I think that's actually a big work that um, I'm doing in my relationship. This currently, life. yeah. How can I be proud of what I bring to the table? Mm. What do I bring? Mm -hmm. And do I know that I bring that? You know, lovely mindset. Lovely mindset. Yeah, yeah. but I, I work on that too because uh, mm. I'm pretty jealous, obviously. Mm. So the Scorpios. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm working on like just taking my hands off of the. Like, don't think so much about the problems yeah. or like the DMs and stuff. And like you said, just be confident. Yeah. And know like, no one can't fuck with me, bro. Exactly. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like jealousy is so common. Is it's it? like so normal. Is it? You know, I feel like the more we try to push it away, it's uh -huh. like, I was gonna, the, at night, it's gonna creep back. Dude, you know? that's so true. So it's like, if I'm jealous, I'm gonna be like, okay, like, I am jealous right now. Uh -huh. I admit it, you know? <laughs> yeah take responsibility yeah. and then kind of be like okay but 
I have all these other good I like stuff. that though, because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about being jealous. Yeah. Like they kind of make it seem like, oh, if you're jealous, you're like toxic yeah. or like crazy. But I'm like, it, doesn't everyone get jealous? Mm-hmm. I think so. I think it's everybody feels it. Yeah. At one point. Dude, this is why I mean until I get along. Exactly. See, we have similar viewpoints. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can move exactly. on to the questions I asked, but oh. yeah, we can go do the design. <gasps> I think it's because of the zip. The zip code, damn. Yeah. Okay. That's all good though. We I have some chane for you. <laughs> Do you want some chane? Uh, I mean, I'm down to. Yeah. But you have to. You have no, to. maybe I peel it while we talk. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pause it for a sec. All right. Uh, the Giorno man is taking way too long, <laughs> so we're gonna make. What are we making? Some mandu. We're gonna make some mandu yeah, yeah, yeah. and some uh fried shrimp fried shrimp yeah on the side we're gonna air fry it and then for dessert we have wow yes let's go <laughs> so we got the mandu we got the shrimp right here mm -hmm. the cutie little air fryer oh, oh, I thought you meant me. oh sorry sorry all right so uh what's going on right now <laughs> uh oh we're waiting for the food to get ready yeah. and uh Sala's just peeling some uh fruits and stuff <laughs> but i'm gonna keep grilling her with all these questions that i got prepared <laughs> so now the next set of questions is from me myself okay. so I'm just genuinely curious but I wanted to ask you how was it joining the podcast and like mm. more so like what are some unexpected things that you didn't like realize you know before mm. joining and now you're like ah oh, I see wow it could be truthful too it yeah, could be yeah, bad yeah. good anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the one thing that I learned, I think I learned a lot about you guys as individuals. Right, okay. I feel like before I just saw you guys as one whole mm -hmm. group, mm -hmm. but I think I got to get close to like you separately, right. Megan separately. Uh -huh. Honestly, Jason, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, maybe. Not yeah, yet, yeah, not, yet, not yet. yet. I think it's because like, he's also been very busy. He has, you know, yeah. and, like, and he's been going through the. He's been going through up, so yeah. much, so like oh, right. our time to bond will come right. naturally, but. Um, I'm actually very thankful that I got to get close to you. I think with you, I oh. got close during our club event. Yeah, yeah. In the car, yeah, yeah. Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. So right before the event, like oh. I asked Paul if I could um, carpool with him. Right, so right. We just had Taco Bell and. It was chill. It was so chill. <laughs> Taco Bell and chill. Taco Bell and chill. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Then going off of that, then what is something that like you did notice that? you didn't expect from me or like mm. Jason or Megan mm. like me, like an actual trait versus you know got it I mean? got yeah. it I think with you mm -hmm. I learned that you are actually a good singer oh <laughs> how did you learn that though you never heard me sing I, I did oh what in the car while we were picking up Taco Bell, uh, you were kind of humming, and I was like, my ears were like, uh, dude, like, yeah, this guy can sing actually. I'm not gonna lie. Before I came, I had an idea yesterday, so I texted Sola. I was like, oh, let's make like a cover to a snooze. But I was tripping. I was tripping. Definitely not. Said that. Uh, we'll see about that one. We'll see. Okay. Um, another question I wanted to ask was like, obviously during the podcast, we like kind of these days we're having discussions about yeah. topics, right? Where we're kind of like arguing almost mm. so i wanted to ask like did we change your perspective on anything that you believed before maybe like after hearing our mm. opinions or not really no i think there are so many moments where like i learned so much from just talking to you guys really yeah um i think recently like the cheating thing <laughs> yeah, the, cheating thing. <laughs> the cheating and the cheating thing are you serious though yeah i am Serious. Like genuinely now you're like ah I don't think I'm accepted. Yeah. yeah 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 yeah. I talked to Scott about this. Too. Oh really really? <laughs> what did he say? I'm so curious. Yeah he was like you can't let me do that to you. Yeah. And I'm like yeah you're right. Come on. Um I think another thing that uh, another thing that I'm learning is like mm -hmm. the the guy's room thing. Oh the oh with the candle and oh yeah yeah yeah. And everything. Yeah. Um, did you ask Scott like yo why do you have so many candles? <laughs> I did. Oh, you did? I was like, ah, oh, nah, Jason's captain. Jason's captain. <laughs> that's how you know it's true, though. That's how you know it's true. Oh my god, that's actually so funny. <laughs> but yeah, I always wonder, like, if the audience likes the the debate and the discussions, mm -hmm. or if they just want just the questions, just the questions. The yeah, because I feel like I'm definitely more of like a okay, let's talk about right. this. You are, you know. Mm -hmm. um, um, me personally, I feel like. Because I read like literally every comment <laughs> and uh, I would say they like the discussions. I think yeah. as long as we keep like varying it, like switching it up between yeah. this and that, like as long as it's not the same all the time. That makes sense. Right. But I, I appreciate the, the um, discussions we'd be having too, honestly. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, I only have a couple last questions left um, before we get to eat because it smells so good. I'm <laughs> starting to get hungry. But uh, I wanted to know who do you think you'd stay friends with if you left Ooh. the podcast? Genuinely, because we asked this before on the pod. Oh, yeah. And okay, I'm gonna be honest. I thought you were gonna say me, dude. Who did I say? You said Megan. Megan? <laughs> but I thought you were, I felt like you were trying to be on some like girl power type. <laughs> girl like, coach shit. Yeah, like... dude. But yeah, look, look, okay. I'll, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No, but I genuinely think. Uh huh. I genuinely think it's you and Megan. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely you and Megan. Like if Megan ever texts me being like, "I need, like uh -huh. I need something," or right. like, "Can you help me?" I feel like I will be there. You'd be there. Hundred percent. And same goes to you. I mean, honestly, same goes to Jason too. Yeah, at yeah, this yeah. point, like. I'm just being tough on Jason because like I know he can take it. And I'm just like being a bully right now. <laughs> You're um, bullying your mouth <laughs> too about the running thing. I just love bullying that kid. <laughs> but um, but really, honestly, even if I left, like uh -huh. I would want nothing but you know the best for you guys. Of course, whatever. likewise, likewise, yeah. same for us too, for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, in the beginning when you joined, do you, wait, do you ever read our comments? Of course, of I course. do. Um, there was like a lot of comments, like very trolly comments. Like from, what? They were saying, talking about how like Jason had a crush on you. <laughs> and stuff like that. I wanted to ask, what do you oh, think about those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, you bringing in the tea. Yeah, I have to, have to, have to. Like, how did it feel seeing those comments? Obviously, it's a joke. Yeah. But like, I know comments get to everyone's yes, head a little yes, bit. Yes, yes, so. yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, when I read those comments, I knew it wasn't true. Okay, okay, yeah. Like, I think it was just like the comments just being comments. Exactly. And I, obviously Jason was with somebody at that time. Yeah, and so yeah. he was, I could tell he was also trying to respect his girl. He was. By not like, trying to, you know, do anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I know, yeah, I, I think the more we talk mm -hmm. in the podcast, the more Jason also and I realized like, if we ever, 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 ever dated, <laughs> we would not work. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I mean, low key, because y'all got some differing opinions. We key. have a lot of differing opinions. Yeah. So I don't think the whole, like, you know, the whole crush thing is just, uh, is not a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I love the honesty. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but I, but I uh -huh. think. As like a Nuna, uh -huh. I'm so excited for Jason's like growth. I, dude, same, into a man. same, same, same. You know? Yeah, as like a friend too. I think um, like definitely with the breakup, I think this next Jason is gonna be a lot better. I and, agree. Yeah, I agree. Especially I agree. whatever relationship he gets into too. I agree. Yeah. I'm excited for him. Same, same, same. Okay, well, <laughs> a couple of questions to you. Knife skills are very good. Also, I want to shout that out real quick. I do not know how to peel the culture like with that. The yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we're switching spots once again, <laughs> once again. Um, but we Same got our food. Uh, oh, shoot, sorry, I should show it a little mm -hmm. bit. Here's the food. It looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you, for real. I'm, I'm actually starving now. It smells Yay. so good. But it's a little burnt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, let's not address the burntness. I, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's quite burnt, but uh, you know, everyone makes mistakes, as they you say. Know, we're we were too occupied. Yeah. Oh shit! This tastes so good. All right, it's yeah, hitting kind of right. Yeah, it's kind of hitting. <laughs> um, did you still have that question you wanted to ask me? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's one thing mm -hmm. you expected to happen once I joined, but then didn't happen? That I expected, like from mm. you personally. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> that didn't happen? I mean... Mm. Okay, maybe the question is like, what is your opinion? Of you joining? Of me joining. Mm. You can be honest as possible. Yeah, I will yeah, take yeah. it personally. Oh yeah, you want me to make you cry? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think... I'll just go back to the first question, kind of like... Mm. <clears throat> One thing that I think I kind of expected, mm. but that didn't happen, not it's not really on you, but mm. just like as a whole, mm. I thought we'd get way more brand deals. Mm. Like I thought we'd about to have one like almost every episode mm. or something like that, but obviously like that's hard to do as well. Mm. But that, and then um, just going back to you joining the podcast, I mean, <clears throat> for the most part, everything is like what I expected, like mm. coming into it. Like, if I'm being real, me and Jason, when we thought of it, we're like, okay, it's definitely a different dynamic than when Jennifer's yeah. on, right? Because, like, the way her, like, uh, humor is, mm -hmm. it goes well with Jason, too. Mm -hmm. I think that's the difference, and that's what makes the whole pod, like, funnier as people... Because I know you've seen those comments, right? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. But I think that's what they mean because yeah, her humor is more like for the yeah. whole cast. Yeah. Versus like you know, obviously you sometimes have differences with like you know. Mm -hmm. But um, besides that, I think everything that we expected happened because mm. uh, yeah, I mean the views have been going up. <laughs> the views have been going up. Like we still got our biggest guest ever, mm -hmm. probably dumbfounded, and uh, yeah, more more things to come. More mm. things to come. But yeah, as a whole, I think you good. You know, I watched the one with you and Jennifer. Mm -hmm. And then I think she was actually very spot on when she said like, oh, we haven't really like spent time together. We mm -hmm. haven't built this dynamic like outside of the podcast. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it is hard. It is hard because like we're also so far mm -hmm. from like from you guys. Yeah. And that's not even like a you thing because it's like even when Jennifer was on, mm. um, like we didn't hang out that much outside really? of the camera. Yeah. This is something that I wanted to talk about with the audience, but it's kind of like, I feel like when you watch a podcast, a lot of people kind of assume that everyone's best friends. Mm -hmm. But I think realistically, like, yeah, that is an ideal world. But I think you could still be a successful podcast without being like best best friends. But mm -hmm. definitely we should be closer. Yeah. Definitely closer. So yeah. we got to set up some more events and like hang out together outside. But mm -hmm. yeah, one thing with that is like we all have different interests. That's why. <laughs> Huh. But genuinely, genuinely, like mm, yeah, I feel like you don't a, rave. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't rave at all. Like, and so that's like a big difference. And like Jason and Megan like to go out, so they would see each other go out together a lot. Mm. And then sometimes Jennifer would go. But I'm like the homebody type of guy. That makes sense. Yeah, but yeah, I'd say that's my answer for that one. Mm. Do you have one more question you could hit me with before? Uh, you one know? more question. Yeah. Mm. What's a tea-filled question? Hmm. <laughs> So how did you feel after the Jennifer Q&A question launched? I feel like that actually got a lot of people talking, no? Mm, like on the, my video? On your video, yeah. Um, I don't know if it got a lot of people talking. Really? But like it did well like views wise and stuff. So I'm definitely mm. grateful for the like the people watching. Mm. But um... Because it was like about the pod. It was, it was know? about the pod. I guess I, I see what you're saying now. I think after filming that video, mm. like everything she said, mm. I kind of knew. Mm. Right, and obviously like we can't put literally everything Every on camera, right? <laughs> yeah. So like that's like the furthest we could go on camera. Like even me and you here, like we're not gonna say everything. Mm -hmm. and, but um, yeah, for the most part, I think I expected what she said, so mm. I wasn't like surprised or anything. Mm. But I was a little. No, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, honestly, I think that is the video. And um, we're gonna just munch this all yeah, down. And we're then, almost done with the strips. <laughs> no, for real, for us. Actually hidden, so I'm gonna, we're just gonna eat this and then yeah. um, we'll see Hala again on the podcast channel. Mm. And make sure to go check out her other shit. Yeah. Wait, actually, I wanna say, do, do you have anything else that like, um, mm. you could announce to my channel as well? Mm. Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. I just love that you're on this YouTube grind. I, I respect it a lot because YouTube is not a easy platform to grow Dude, on. Dude, it's hard. And to be honest, your engagement is actually so good. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I feel like you actually have quite a lot of views for the amount of subscribers you have. Oh, true, true, true. You know what I mean? True. Honestly, sometimes I'm a little discouraged though. Why? Being real because Jason's channel, mm. like, he had like six videos, mm -hmm. all of them 20k plus. Really? Mm -hmm. It's just our community is so strong with the 9 for 9 that mm -hmm. they follow regardless. Mm -hmm. But, oh yeah, actually I'll ask you this question on camera. Mm -hmm. This is about content itself, mm. but so the problem I've been dealing with right now is that like every week I'll post a video like I'm pretty consistent, mm -hmm. but I feel like because I'm consistent, like less people want to watch every week, if you know what um, I mean. Because you know if you post time to time, it's like, okay. Oh, they he, know when to expect. Yeah, yeah. And I also feel weird like shouting it out in every podcast, like, <laughs> oh, go watch my video, you know? Mm. But like, what do you think about that? Like, should I just keep trying to be consistent every week? Or do you think like time mm. to time I should take a break? Mm. Like a one week break, and you know what I mean? I know what you mean. To build up like the views and like the hype, I guess. I see. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about that? I think consistency is king. Really? With content. Regardless? Yeah, regardless. Hmm. I think like, I have a lot of respect for people who can hustle. Mm -hmm. And even if it means shouting out your channel or yeah. a vlog every episode, mm -hmm. like, I don't mind that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, that's never annoying. Okay. Because you're out here hustling. I'm trying to. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, yeah. So like, I respect that. I, that that's that's the game we're in right now. Is we have to keep reminding people mm -hmm. that we're here. You know, Dude, that literally. we're sharing things. So it's, if you can do that, any thought. 
<laughs> it's funny though, because you know? like, I would say you're like a legitimate content creator. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. what I mean by that is like, for example, like me, Jason, Megan, like I don't think we're legitimate content creators yet because we're not posting our own stuff and like mm. consistently, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's like a, a thought I've been dealing with a lot these days. Like, mm. oh shit. Yeah, like, should I be consistent and like stuff like that? I think yeah. consistency is gonna take you so far. Really? Mm -hmm. I kind of like this um, this kind of video better actually. Yeah, dude, it's like a combo. Yeah, because I actually have like so many questions I could just ask you <laughs> instead of like those other silly questions. Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. But what do you want to do with your content? Like, so for me, like, mm -hmm. especially with like this channel, mm -hmm. like, I literally want to just truly be me and not do shit for views. Yeah, you know wow, I, mean? I love that. And like, I want to do something like where. So I've had a video before where it was literally like me just like talking to the audience for 40 minutes straight <laughs> but i didn't post it why not because it was kind of like a i'm treating my vlog as like a journal mm -hmm. sometimes so like i was i i don't know if you know this about me but like i used to be hella depressed mm -hmm. like my freshman year of college right because i quit sports and like i was just figuring out a new identity so like i feel like that's something i still struggle with is like mm -hmm. time to time like literally even last week like like you guys can't tell because i'm smiling yeah, and shit but I like i was like hella just like a bad week right and like for me, when it's a bad week, like it all spirals in my brain. Mm. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just can't like change the way my brain is viewing everything. Mm. So like, I don't know what to do mm. except for like talk it out. So that's why I would just like bring the camera out and talk. But um, yeah, dude, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to ask you like something about that. Like, I mean, I know you seem like happy all the time and stuff too, but do you ever get like sad or like the, those kind of feelings? And what do you do to like kind of make yourself feel better, you know? Oh my goodness. You brought up such a good point. Mm. Because I think, like, especially in the digital creator, creator, content creator economy, mm -hmm. like, that feeling is so real. What, well, the kind of like... Being depressed. Mm -hmm. And like, not knowing what to do. Right. And like, like, we don't know who we are anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, first thing, I think that's kind of so amazing that you brought out your, your camera and just like, let it out yeah <laughs> well did that feel good to you like did that was that mm -hmm. so healing for you yeah because i'm used to tiktok live where i talk yeah. to myself basically for yeah. an hour so it felt similarly but like i was like about to cry and shit that's mm. why so i was like it helped me i didn't want to cry after i mm. talked you know what i mean like i felt better <laughs> yeah at the i end think of you it. should post it really yeah i think that's if i feel like if i saw that of, of a favorite creator i mm -hmm. feel like i'll be so much more invested in them and care for them right you know yeah. what i mean that's what i'm thinking too so i do want to like put out videos like that maybe not that one because i was like, <laughs> talking some <laughs> shit and stuff you know what i mean but like yeah 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 no i feel you i feel like the filming part mm -hmm. like a lot of what, what people don't really know is that like film it seems so easy it you feels, know yeah. you know it was pull out a, com a camera just, but press record yeah. that's it and then just post it yeah you it's know? not like that it's not like that because you have to prepare script mm -hmm. like think about all the different ideas like right. ideating is a big part mm -hmm. the recording is one thing but then editing everything you yeah. know it's so much that mm -hmm. like you kind of have to, you always think like damn like is this what i signed up for yeah like you know yeah but i guess another thing that i mm -hmm. just wanted to ask this is like very personal and shit mm -hmm. but it's just like Obviously, like I don't, I know, you, like you got paid last month, right, mm -hmm, from Jason, mm -hmm. and it's like a little amount. Mm -hmm. but, like for example, like me, Megan, we didn't get any money, right? Aww. Just because like there's not enough money left. My question is more like this, like so knowing that the podcast right now is not really making money, mm -hmm. we're investing it back in, and then like I knowing, didn't for, I completely forgot that you and Megan don't yeah get that yeah or we do if there's like extra, I'm but like there's no extra. But like basically, like what I'm asking is like. With the, with the content shit, like I like doing it, mm. but we're just not making much money, mm. and obviously it takes time, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like sometimes I question if it's worth it, essentially. Mm. So it's like, how do you like figure that out? Because you know, like some people say that like long term content creation obviously is not the move because when you're 50, like what are you going to be doing, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like it's fun. We like doing it. So mm -hmm. like, how do you manage like getting that long term career that's sustainable and doing something you like? Mm -hmm. Damn. Because you're kind of doing that. Yeah. I think for me, like, uh -huh. there's two ways to think of this. I think the first way is the business aspect and mm -hmm. using social media as a way to bring people to your business. Mm -hmm. I agree, 100%. The other way is, I think, for your own mm -hmm. personal, like, fulfillment of keeping a catalog, right. a digital journal, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I think for me, I'm trying to figure out what business I can make. 
out of your content out of my content right now i'm still right. figuring that out mm -hmm. so as of now for me content is leaning more towards like okay um let's just create things that i'm gonna look back and look back on and enjoy Mm, so it's more for you now more for me now. Yeah, and you don't think about like the monetary value as much or not much Not much anymore. I just want to create content that I could look back on and be like Oh, that was me when I was like 21 or mm -hmm. 25, you know mm. um, Okay, yeah, thankfully I have brand deals that are helping me now, right, but right. that is so finicky mm -hmm. Like my paycheck is not guaranteed. Every yeah, that's month, what I'm saying. You know? Yeah, so I need to think about another thing that'll generate that money for me so yeah, it, I teeter between the two. It's like I have to think of business, but also like I'm doing this because I love, you know, doing I love it. doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's true too. That's what I noticed, and that's what I told them. It's like I realized content creation these days is unless you're becoming a list like mm -hmm. Logan Paul, mm -hmm. Jake, unless you're becoming like that, then I don't know if it's like sustainable for your whole life. I don't think it is. Yeah. You have to really be a business entrepreneur yeah, when yeah, it yeah. comes to your content these days. I you agree. Know? It's more so like funneling your audience towards a business or a product or something, right? Uh, to yeah, make money. exactly. Because now your pretty face, your mm -hmm. personality is not going to cut it exactly. these days. Exactly. You know, there's so many. Way too many. So you kind of have to be smart and understand what's going on in the, in the now and mm -hmm. kind of adjust your business strategy to that. I agree. Yeah. I mean, I feel like with the pod now, like one of the things we could make money, hopefully, is like the new merch we're like mm -hmm. gonna make and stuff. So hopefully that does well. I, I was gonna say, what do you think of the fucking clothes? You saw mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, we need to get you some still, but. The merch is dope. It's like so, it's a very street wear. Yeah, very it's street very nine for nine. Yeah, yeah. It's nine for nine coated. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but hopefully. But I think. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, no, I no, think no, you guys can think bigger than merch. I think so. But like, what can we adventure into as a podcast? Like what, alcohol too? <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. Under the influence or like I don't know. I've tried to think about it, but I'm like, what can we do? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> it's hard to think of something. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Especially a podcast audience is so unique. Like like these people first started watching us for our freaking like horny <laughs> stories jokes. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. how are we funneling those people into what business? Maybe a sex toy. <laughs> mm, maybe. Have you heard of the Roge? Yeah, of Dude, course. They wanted us to do it, like promote their shit so hard, <laughs> but I felt so uncomfortable having that device. <laughs> yeah, I felt so uncomfortable that we did not do that. Do you ever turn down like brand deals because you don't think it matches you or whatever? I've actually had a lot of sex toy. Oh, DMs. really? Yeah. Mm, but no, no, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> but you know, maybe comment below mm -hmm. what kind of business you think Design for Nine can actually create. Yeah, like what would you guys be interested in like, I guess purchasing yeah. essentially from us? Or yeah, that they're an expert in, you know? <laughs> expert in, uh, expert in, I don't know about expert, but uh, yeah. But um. Or like a jewelry line. Mm, maybe, oh, you know they're making you a chain. Are they actually? For everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you, Megan, yeah. Jennifer, uh, yeah. Oh wow. So we'll get we'll get that up too somehow. Or like a men's men's mm -hmm. self care ah, line. Self care line? Okay, okay. Like a hair product. Maybe. <laughs> no, honestly something like that is the most you likely. Know? Yeah, yeah. Something like that is the most likely. <sighs> you know, like it's like the Riz. Riz hair. Like, no. <laughs> like, like, it's called the Riz product. The, Riz, the Rizzler gel. The Rizzler. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Overall, guys, I wanted to say thank you one more time, Sola, for coming on. I already did an outro, but we ended up talking for another 20 yeah. minutes. <laughs> but no, for real, like, thank you for coming on. It means a lot. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much. So much love. I've been contemplating all my time. I'm